Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries where I'm going to show you the skeletons in the closets. Except it's not in the closet, it's on the bench and it's not a real skeleton, it is a skeleton of the gearbox. So we've taken the two gearbox end plates out of the gearbox casing and we fitted it to fitted the two end places together with three pieces of silver steel that have been tapped with nuts and washers put on and that's allowed us to create a skeleton of the gearbox and you can see inside and we've done that to make it easier to mark out and drill through the holes that hold the two shafts one shaft has the gear selectors on it that slide and the other shaft is this the moving shaft that actually slides the gear selectors as per previous video. So that helps us to visualize and to assemble the parts. When we've got the final shaft created and um, finished and put through, we'll be able to fit the parts onto the spline and then we'll be able to fit the selectors onto those, measure the clearances and then we can mark out and drill those holes. So that's one of the last operations, but that's how we intend to do it. And the nice bonus of doing that is that we can then demonstrate the boxing operation when it's all together. So these plates here still need to be bored out to take the bearing and the seal, and you can see that on this end. So this is this brocket. We had a trip to uh, Norville Spares in Norton Keynes. They were very good. They honored what they said, and we were allowed to return the parts we didn't use. No questions asked, so thanks very much to those guys. Get the credit for those and swap them for some different parts. So this is the top gear, because it's the larger of the two sprockets. It runs on the left-hand side of the bike. So this is the bearing here that will be running in this plate. And this is the seal just inboard of that bearing that also runs in this plate. So we need to bore the end plate from inside part way down to the diameter to take the bearing. Then it will have a shoulder where the seal fits and then it will have uh, a bit more of a shoulder to stop the seal coming out of this side. So that's an operation that still needs to be done. And it's exactly the same on this side. There is the bearing, there is the seal. So the gearbox will be running between, the, the, the gear shaft will be running between the two plates on bearings in an oil bath with those seals keeping the oil in place. The uh, gear selector mechanism, you imagine this is a finished shaft, there'll be a spline in the middle locking on the uh, gear selector which has got dogs on the end and those dogs engage in here and that engages the gears. So it's it's good progress there. There's the clutch that goes on the end of it. This is just a dummy mandrel, but it's a nice fit in there. So we can use that to make sure that these plates are absolutely parallel um, when we fit the final assembly into the gearbox. Then it all comes apart again and it all goes into the cases and you cross your fingers and your toes and you make sure you're facing Mecca uh, and it should still all turn and rotate and function properly. So that's where we're at at the moment with the gearbox. Meanwhile, raw steel choppers have finished the tank. Uh, String sent me a video. It looks absolutely amazing. I might just post that on the channel later on because it really does look superb. So I've got to arrange to go and fetch that uh, as soon as I get a spare weekend or take a day off work. So that's where we're at. As usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.